When you heard news about the Dawson shootings, what were your initial thoughts or worries? Uh, well, on that particular day, I was uh, working at, as I work in an elementary school, I was at work. Um, my two daughters, uh, one was in high school still, the other was at Vanier College. Um, initially, I got word um, through my administration and I was pretty shaken, uh, trying to get, uh, trying to call or to get some clarification on what was going on was really difficult. I uh, initially called um, my sister-in-law who sort of tried to find out some more information for me. Um, then uh, once I had heard what happened, uh, you know, uh, they were talking about um, perhaps this gunman going into different colleges. Now there was you know, as it spread, excuse me, through the through the news, you know, there was a lot of, at the moment, sensationalization. Uh, they were saying that, oh, now they, they were, they feared for uh, not only the, the children at Dawson, or students at Dawson, rather, but they did fear for the students um, at other colleges, because they were speculating that it was not just one gunman, that there were several. So there was a lot of panic... Um, within our school, because we we have I have colleagues who had children that were attending the various colleges on the island of Montreal. Uh, it was really frightening. It was something that shocked me incredibly because this was not this to me was something that didn't happen in Montreal. Um, uh, this happened for me. This was something that was so so familiar to the United States. It just wasn't something and it really had a huge impact in my life. Uh, that particular day, I don't know how I functioned for the rest of the day. I feared for my eldest daughter who was at Vanier. Actually, um, my nephew called me at school. They had me paged and said, you know, he would go and pick up my daughter at Vanier. There was traffic there was just sheer pandemonium it was something so so surreal something that you know what that particularly I would as I said to you just we had just had news of these things happening in the states and it's really like unheard of well at to, at that moment not at that moment but you know over time yeah it was sort of you know unheard of nothing like that had happened ever here I mean, with the exception of that polytechnique, but that was something so isolated that yeah. it was just women and that it wasn't, didn't have an impact on, you know, all the college students, but uh, yeah. Like it, it was, wasn't as big of an impact. It, like it was shocking it, when it, it happened. It was a big impact, I would have to say, but just to know that, you know, my goodness, like this happened here, it was, uh, was pretty scary. Okay, so being a parent, do you feel schools are as safe as they used to be? Like, do you ever worry for Anthony and me, like, when we go to school or when I go to McGill? Like, do you ever think in the back of your head, like, something like this might happen? Does well, it ever trouble you? Um, I sort of feel that, you know, they're now just hearing about, um, or not, well, yes, yeah, sorry about that again. Hearing about Dawson and, you know, knowing for myself personally, we knew one of the the children who got shot i mean it's so close to home that um yeah absolutely did i worry for both of my daughters amanda and anthe absolutely and now amanda being at mcgill i mean we never know you can never just you know you can't ever just assume that things won't happen that you never know you just never know and it just really it's horrible just because of our our justice system, there doesn't seem to be um, stricter laws, even our gun laws, although we're not as lenient as the states is, our gun laws, you know, pe young women or uh, men can get their hands on firearms. It's just a reality now, it's and it's accessible. a scary reality. Yeah. And, you know, we just have to, the, as much as, you know, I'm at, when I'm at work and I think about my daughters traveling into town, particularly Amanda going to McGill, 
yeah, you know, there is a sense of worry. I'm always sort of, you know, I'll say to her, oh, please, you know, don't forget when you get to school, text me. Uh, um, when you're leaving, text me. It's sort of, yes, it is, it is a worry. And if I ever, you know, just recently I got wind of something that happened at McGill and it was just a flood and I just like panicked because when I heard McGill on the radio, I didn't hear the other part. So, yeah, it's uh, something that really is uh, scary. For sure. So did the Dawson shooting have like any impact on you? Like, did it change anything for you? Well, it's certainly as a parent of two daughters and as a professional that works in an elementary school, it absolutely changed the way that I think about our, the safety in our schools and the way that I think procedures um, and you know, lockdowns in, even in universities, in colleges, in elementary schools, it's so, so important for the young uh, children and, you know, not just young children, sorry, but college students, university students to have a even plan the of faculty action. The itself and faculty, to, absolutely. Obviously, to... in the moment, you can't assume, like, what to do, like, it's hard. But if you have some sort of structure, or procedure to follow, it's, it makes things a little less hectic. Well, I, I don't ne necessarily think, I think that what will happen is you'll always, you know, we always are not sure of, even when we do have procedures in place, you don't know when you're panic stricken how you're going to react. But yes, I think you're absolutely right. I think that we should have procedures in place. I think that all students, it should be mandatory. All professors, students, faculty, likewise, should have, uh, should have lockdown procedures and should have drills. I mean, it sounds ridiculous when we go to the higher level of education, but should have drills as to, you know, if somebody comes into a class or a campus or, uh, although, you know, having said that, yes, McGill is a big campus but I guess each section of McGill or each campus rather could have their own set of procedures yeah. and I think beefed up security I don't think there's anything wrong having um, more security guards on site even if we have to go as far as having you know armed trained yeah. professionals to be in the schools because you never know because you don't know so, um, seeing as you work in an elementary school and hearing what happened at Sandy Hook, has anything changed, like your thoughts about elementary schools and all that? Like, Absolutely. I, uh, you know, I've worked in an elementary school now for 15 years and I've, n I never in imagined, you know, when I heard about Sandy Hook and the devastation and the, I never imagined that this could, this could I mean that this would occur in an elementary school and I just can't imagine the pandemonium I mean I work in an elementary school and have we performed lockdown procedures we absolutely have and to see these poor little kids who are in you know particularly in kindergarten in grade one and you, you're sort of trying you've been given a procedure to follow but you do have to explain to the kids what this means and why they have to be um, cautious without instilling absolute fear into them. You must, you know, you must help them. Uh, it needs to be, it needs to be a situation that's handled delicately. Cause yes, they're still absolutely. rather young. But we do in our elementary schools, we have in the past um, practice lockdown procedures are the children scared with these things absolutely because we've really done a run through where you know in our elementary school we have um, certain classrooms have doors that have windows so what we've done is we've actually installed blinds where you know if there is a lockdown procedure and we have a special code that's called over the PA system and once that code is called all the teachers are instructed to lock all their doors, roll down the blinds that have been installed and, you know, take the kids off to a corner and make sure all the kids understand that 
they have to be very quiet and we've actually had actors come in and knock on doors and say hey hey open up and you know just so that the kids get a feel of if there was something that went on in the school they know what the procedure is and it's unfortunate that you know our school systems have come to this you know and again I say this very very firmly that our justice system and our gun laws have to be a lot stricter yeah. and than they actually are.